to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. Okay. It's been a while since I had some spaghetti, so I made some turkey spaghetti. I bought ground turkey at 99 cent only yesterday, and I used about a third of it. And I put some uh, chopped dry onions and some garlic powder, and I fried the, um, the turkey burger. Then I added one can of mushrooms and I added one can of spaghetti sauce, any kind. I stockpiled this stuff for a dollar. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm eating my uh, stockpile down and I'm eating the food in my freezer down. This is good, you guys. It's cheap, but it's good. Okay, so, I'm on day four, and uh, the previous three days I did videos, but next week I'm eating my, um, I'm eating my freezer down. This week it was a stockpile. I mean, you can do it in any order you want. So this week it was beans, rice, chicken, and pasta. Next week is the freezer, Polish sausage, pork sausage, fix, fish, sticks and hamburgers so um i have a hamburger here and a hamburger there because um of the of the four selections hamburger is probably the best but since i have a lot of turkey burger i will fill one of these two in tomorrow i mean you don't have to go in the exact order and then i have pork sausage here and there um, I knew I had a lot of pork sausage, so I bought some biscuits to make sausage and gravy on those nights. So, in my opinion, the two most desirable meats I have up there, they're both cheap, is hamburger and Polish sausage. So, in between my two good meats, I put the, the little bit less desirable. They're still going to be good. So, um, now, uh, this is how you can do like half a month and you can stagger it and eat the same thing, you know, for two weeks, you know, skip a week. So, okay, today I was working a little bit and I will show you one of the items that I bought. And what this is, is a wood carving, a Hindu wood carving. And these are actually rather valuable, but unfortunately, this one is cracked. Uh, therefore, absolutely no value. But it looks pretty, see, it's very pretty if you have it out on the patio. So, um, usually something like that is $100. But because it's, it's got a missing branch... And I just close this. See up here where the branch is missing, which is a bummer. Uh, I listed it for $50. So, uh, you know, I will just keep it myself if someone doesn't buy it. So almost everything I buy, I try to buy stuff that I like. First of all, I know I can sell it at the swap meet if I want to get rid of it, which why should I like it? So I bought that, and then I bought this um, hanging lantern, or this is pretty. I'll try to put my candle in there without hurting myself. But these are pretty out on the garden as well. It's got a 20-inch, uh, let's see if I can get it in there. I already spill wax on it, so I thought, well, so see how pretty? I don't know how much I'm selling it for, but not much. Uh-oh. So that is two things I bought. Uh, it's hard to shop in the thrift stores right about now. But um, I'm trying to just carefully go back to work a little bit if I can. Uh, work. I'm going back to work. I don't think retirement is a good idea. So, okay, so one of the things I'm drinking, what's on my glass? You know, when I bring the plants in, they generate a few insects. So, um, 
I couldn't find any uh, fresh grapefruit, so I bought um, I bought this stuff at Walmart. It is good. Uh, you know, you really don't go through that much grapefruit juice, especially when you're mixing it with tonic water. So um, what that does is it gives you a little uh, natural quinine, very little. Uh, but that is supposed to be good in treating malaria. And so, you know, anything that kind of boosts your immunity up is a good thing to, you know, drink. And then uh, I wanted to mention, I save all my straws because it's so much more pleasant drinking your drinks with straws. The tonic water doesn't go flat like Diet Coke. And then I have uh, tea and I keep that in the refrigerator. And uh, I drink it down, you know, slowly but surely. So now, let's see what happened here. So um, one of the ways you can eat your stockpile down, I'm going to move it over here. Uh, for just a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Um, spaghetti is really cheap. One could have spaghetti once a week. I used to have it once a week. It's cheap enough. And it's rather good. Kids love it. And then in my uh, freezer, I keep Parmesan cheese at all times. I like a lot. Okay, so now I wanted to tell you guys something and I almost forgot. See in the back, see my, um, okay, I bought this climbing aloe vera at Walmart and it was about this big and I thought it's a ripoff. It was four bucks. But my plant generated one, two, four plants. So when this is a bird of paradise and it was around the roots of a, a plant, it was about that big. And I just pulled it up, and so I pulled those up, so now I have generated five climbing aloe vera plants. Out here, we can sell that kind of stuff at the swap meet. Not saying I'm going to, because, you know, the rooftop garden thing. All right, so there is my dinner. And I was at um, Grocery Outlet today, and so I got these cookies. There's very few left. <laughs> two dollars and I thought well I will try them because I have to go back over there tomorrow and if I like them I'll buy more well I love them so that's what I'm having for dessert so that's a very um, cheap thing and when I was at grocery outlet they had these gravies for 50 cents each which is really cheap at Walmart, the packages of gravy were a dollar. I go, what? It's too much. Okay, and I just want to show you guys something real quick because I know some of you might like to do uh, eBay. So I decided to try to sell a few of my watches, and here, here they are. Uh, this is uh, Mark Echo. And uh, somebody uh, made a bid, and I accepted the bid, and they haven't sent the money, but basically it is sold. And then I have, I think, two watchers on this. This is pretty. Um, I hesitated to sell my watches, and then I have some watchers on this. Betsy Johnson, it's, it's a bracelet watch. It's really nice with, like, a pair of jeans. And then this... Um, watch is really pretty it's like a gold um bracelet watch but it's an herbalife watch and and they and i got a bid and uh they sent the money right away so basically if you can get this kind of stuff in a thrift store and then my life was difficult because of the covid i couldn't get in and get the batteries I like to get the watch service right before I mail it so they get the longest possible battery. 
So I'll cross that bridge when I can tomorrow. So uh, jewelry was my idea. I just um, hesitated to um, sell mine because when, how the hell am I supposed to get more? And then at um, Dollar Tree, I was able to get three of these, and there was dust on this, so I just knocked the dust off my... Um, never wet your stuff. And uh, let's see. I want to mention to you some stuff. Okay, what we see is non-compliance. We see people in, in stores that require masks, and their masks are below their noses. What that really is is non-compliance. But also there are businesses that are non-compliant. And what um, is happening, there is no way to social distance. And you'll find yourself in clusters. Or like today, I thought this is clearly unsafe, so I left. If you are any place that is making it impossible to social distance, just leave immediately as soon as you realize it. It's not worth it. Okay, it's been, it's been postulated, and I wouldn't doubt it, that people are going to become so desensitized that we're going to have mass death from the COVID, and people are just going to be, oh, well, yeah, they died. Just don't let that be you. And the other thing is, because... If they defund the police, you call the police, they don't necessarily come. So you want to uh, take steps now to secure your dwelling so that it is safe as possible. Uh, it's a dangerous time. And another thing is um, now it's very difficult to function and do business like I needed um, pots for my plants I am having a terrible time I also need a dry fertilizer and that doesn't mean I want to pay twenty dollars a bag I needed boxes for my jewelry and I mean this caused me so much stress and uh, honestly I didn't know what I was going to do really I just thought oh no what am I going to do well I found them today and I think that's a lot of thing that's causing hoarding um, am I going to hoard those boxes yeah probably okay now another thing you guys if 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 you're in like not very good circumstances financially don't spend your money. Go to the food pantries, the food banks, the welfare department, and, and get food stamps now and pile your um, house full of food. And so you might be going, you're terrible. That's for people who don't have any food. Well, just don't go there. Get some cheap, cheap meals and start thinking about what am I going to do if there is a mass outbreak of COVID? And there's probably going to be. Let's be honest. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all.